I think he's like top five. Jeez, man, return to the spaces. <laughs> I think so, man. I think I think that's where we're at. Isn't this game just melee four? <laughs> Wait, melee. Yeah, wow. Okay, I had to do math on that. That's not great. Uh, starting off, we have seen this set before. If you've been watching, you've seen it too. Uh, Naro versus Light. You'll see the little W next to Light's name, indicating that he has already won the winner's bracket. Nairo, of course, will have to win two sets to win this tournament, and getting through the person that knocked him into losers so cleanly is going to be difficult. Yeah, Light has looked borderline unstoppable all day. Took out Tweak, took out Nairo. Like, we could get the bracket later, man. But just believe us that he has had a hell of a run to get here at Grand Finals, and he has some room to play with, right? He can play maybe with some experimental strategies in mind, maybe a character swap to see how it works, but looks like he's all business right now. Wants to tie this one up. With a quick 30 and it's, get out of here early. It's surprising to see that Nairo went for Palatina, considering he switched off of Palatina and went Lucina towards the end of the last set. Yeah, I don't know. In Smash 4, I feel like Martha Lucina struggled against Fox. Not terribly, but once he gets them in the air, it's hard to come down. Now Smash? Oh, not in time. We'll see, though. Palatina, not a character great at responding to up-close pressure. That's really where she falters. Strong in pretty much every other area of the game, but Fox, this guy presses buttons on you, and there's so little that you can do, even if you do have good frame down on your normals. Okay, uses the Phantasm in the air to get away. Comes right back in. Control to Nairo in the neutral, but obviously advantage still majorly to light with a 90.5% lead. Nairo has been an absolute monster off the stage. Yeah. Throughout this tournament, man. I don't think anyone's even been close. Of course, Light not having Kalos' walls to lean on this right. time. Wow. He's got the up smash, though. And that looked like range buff up smash connecting right there. I don't know. I don't know, man. That just looked like Fox things. up smash to me, man. It's true. We've been, we've been watching that move for 18 years. Yes, actually we have. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. But some things never change, I guess. However, Light trying to solidify himself as a, a Nairo killer in this game, man. He's got a great look for himself right now, already taking one set, on the verge of taking another game in another set. That's punishable. Nairo, I think, getting in his own head a little bit. Not sure what angle he thought the Foxfire was going to take. How's he going to do it here? Yes, just going to back air that second jump. Light maybe looking to back air on his way back, but even if he he did throw it out, would have just gotten eaten by that shield. 78% Nairo has to make up. And it's getting worse. That did a lot of damage. Going right to the edge. Finds his way on with Nair. And another Nair. And another Nair. And another Nair. Wow, Fox, okay. is hit. Fox falls very, very quickly. That's another punish. That's another punish, or at least it should have been Nairo slightly off. And uh, wow, looking to close out the set. And not the set, the game. And he's going to do it. And another Nair from light <laughs> into the up smash. Speaking of things that never change, that Nair linking into the perennially ridiculous up smash has pretty much been a constant across every Smash game. So, to run this joke back, because I love this joke, what state, oh, he picked PS2. Uh, he's gonna go Lucina. There's no way he picks Palatina again. Yeah? I don't think so. I, I would not doubt that, but he's also got some other options available oh, to him. Oh, he's gonna do it! Wow, no way, Ken. I wasn't thinking this, but. Okay, so this was the first character Nairo was like hiding. Okay. Right, like so he he you know before he pl you know played on stream he was playing a lot of Ken. When his stream was over, he was playing a lot of Ken. So this is something that Iro's been working on. He says he has to play a lot of cat and mouse for it to work. But the Ken combos, Ken combos, oh, that's Ken annoying. combos. Yeah. <laughs> no, we gotta think of something for that one. <laughs> that's, but that's when Ken hits fair to dare, it's over. Oh, he did it, or he tried to do it. That's okay. Got the juggles though, and of course Box is up air has always been a thorn in the side of Ryu for its multi-hit nature. Ken gonna fall victim to the same thing, of course. Okay, so I wanna see an adaptation from Nairo off the down tilt, down tilt Tatsumaki, because that is specifically a Ryu combo. You're gonna get a weird follow-up and not very much knockback. Really, Ken is looking for his third strike combo, which is jab, jab, Shoryuken. Let's see okay. if he uh, is saving that for kills. If he's too shy to use it for damage. Yeah, just gonna go for a token. That I like. That I like. That's a much better option because it's not putting him out of position. Down air possibility. A little bit late on the double jump. Ooh, air dodge is right down, and that should not wow. be a stop. Yeah, Ken's, of course, much weaker than Ryu's in terms of knockback, or at least considerably. But you see all that hit lag, throwing light off. Tech Master even unable to get that one. Uh, looking back to the Shoryuken, I'm not sure if that was the Dragon Punch motion as opposed to the upbeat hold. 
Uh, I think the Dragon Punch motion would have killed, but Nairo, traditionally not a fighting game player, might not be comfortable with the inputs here. Hey man, he's actually pretty decent at Marvel 3. I, best, I believe this guy can do a, a DP. I don't think he could even spell MVC3. No, he was actually pretty decent. What? Yeah, he could do ROM moves, bro. What? Really? Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. Oh, okay. ho, ho! He's, he's getting predictable. That was the third time we see him do jump and air dodge down to the ground. Light reads it and takes the stock for free. I feel like I'm watching light loops right now with how many up smashes he's getting. It's just been the same thing, closing out every stock, either a raw up smash or a nair right into it. That double down tilt into the Hadouken is going to be pretty much confirmable at all percents. Off the level where Nairo loves to be. And forward throw's not going to kill yet. Yeah, just chucks him, sets up. Who knows? Oh, no. I, I know that that's not going to work. The Brawl minus Luigi upbeat. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And he's alive. 66% doing a little bit better than Palatina until that happened, taking another 33 right on top. Yeah, Ken, I don't feel like he has the range or the speed on oh. his normals to contend with Fox, man. This is such a hard chase down, like you said, cat and mouse. And the Tatsu's not even safe on hit against a fastballer like this at low percents. You gotta dash those, gotta be careful. Nairo again with the down tilts, pressuring inside. Light clearly looking for this up smash. Oh, and he's almost gonna find it right there. But Nairo keeping it hidden once more. Let's trap game. Trouble. Oh, oh he wanted the there and there and no tech. Light twice in a row. Failing that off stage, and that's so uncharacteristic of him again. I gotta repeat, he was one of the most consistent at teching off stage to survive ridiculous circumstances in Smash 4. As a Fox player, you gotta have that hardwired into your brain. Okay, but right back to PS2. We're gonna go to game number three. New game, new me, new tech timings. All right, it's gonna be Fox versus Ken again. Nairo got away with that one by the skin of his teeth. Now I say this as a Nairo fan, do not automatically assume that Nairo has the advantage. That was clearly a low percent kill. And uh, lucky. Two stage spikes in a row against Light. I would venture to say that was rather lucky, but here we go, it's gonna be the same terrain. Pokemon Stadium 2, Ken just, or, I'm sorry, Nairo <laughs> playing Ken, just backing off from Light's landing there. The lead traps Fox, classically one of the strongest in doing this all throughout Smash 4. He wow. Was notorious. So with the Ken's lead Tatsumaki traps. will keep your momentum. If you do it when you're jumping, you'll go up. If you do it while you're falling, you will kind of venture downwards. So he's using it during ledge jump to go higher onto the ledge. It's very smart. See right there, that was not safe. My guy. I didn't go that far, but all right. Oh, and light even with the frame trap. Nair to up smash still works. There is no stopping this man. He goes through. I'm not sure about the pivot grab. Not sure what he was looking for. And the focus attack does get grabbed immediately. Forward air. He could have comboed up out of that with an up air, but he didn't have the angle. Light just going to beat him up a little bit, send him to the edge. Try to hold the pressure up. And yes, going to get that. Panic Shoryuken, Desperate Shoryuken, I don't even know what to call it there, but it wasn't the best course of action by any means. Trouble, Tatsumaki and Shine. Shine Spike, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rising Tatsu! Tatsu. Oh, 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 oh my god. I, okay, and hey, up smash, hey. There we go. We love those. We um, gotta get a counter. <laughs> I think that was 16, 17. I just want the fractions of how many stocks, you know, we're taking with up smash, but either way, gonna eat through that focus multi-hit, uh, with a multi-hit on forward air. Knocks Light all the way to the top corner. He finds his way back down aggressively, though. That's two, like, two fireballs running at each other. Nairo is at a massive deficit. Not only a major percent at 94 versus zero, but he's also down a stock as well. Down throw, what do you have off of that? Not even an up air. Almost getting clipped underneath PS2, it looked. Nairo's panicking. He stayed in his shield after his spot dodge, which would normally have been a grab. Nairo just throwing the Shoryu's out. You gotta know that's gonna cost you, especially a character like Fox who can just get right in there with an easy kill punish out of Dash. Not only do I think this character is one of the best characters in the game, I don't think he has matchups that he suffers in. Like, I don't think he loses to anyone specifically, so I can't think of a character that Nairo could switch to that's going to push this into his favor, although I do believe that we are finally going to see Lucina. Typically, what's kept Fox back in Smash games is being comboed extremely hard. Right. And someone who can outrange him, but also match his speed. Think of Brawl Mennonite, for example, who still had a pretty good matchup against him. FD? 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 I wonder what that means from that. Belmont? Right? Incineroar? Bold play. Okay. Incineroar, one of the scariest characters when he has the advantage, right? I think when Nairo's putting quarters in the arcade machine, man. 
Well, I don't know. I think There's he can't. No I, I, I think he can't beat Bison. He's just trying every character. I don't know. I, this Incineroar exists for real. He does actually play the characters. Pretty scary. He's got some cool stuff, but it has not been tournament tested yet. I mean, before today, wow. none of his characters have been. But yeah, that's fair. This is quite the interesting proving ground or testing ground for a character like this. Yeah, you can get down throw to up smash, but I guess Fox is just too light to get caught up by it. The bear usually just connects. Exactly, yeah. Down throw bear, down throw lariat it. for a lot of damage, and he didn't have a jump. That's it. This character just dies if you take his jump off stage most of the time. It's pretty scary. Nairo also notably plays tap jump, so he has to be very precise if he wants to do the early cross chop and preserve his jump. Already lapped 43 seconds in. Uh, Nairo gets the percent lead back, but things are not looking good. Light is looking to take this tournament. Uh, I think he's dropped two games that I've seen. Incineroar can definitely melt you when he gets his hands on you, though. The typical wow. forward smash kills so early. What's he got out of shield for this? Side B. Harry, yeah. side B. Okay, gets the, the middle option. Not the worst, not the best. It sets up really well, right? If he got the clothesline, it sends Fox basically back to neutral. Whereas if he sends him upwards, he gets less percent, but he puts him in a position where he could possibly follow up. Yeah, Incineroar's up air, great juggling tool, and you see the tipper on that. It will murder you. Speaking of murder, where is the revenge counter? A major part of Incineroar's playstyle. Attack chase up smash light just all over oh. this man right now. He's gonna get back to stage. I can't believe light didn't go off the stage for that one. I love wow. up B, by the way. Yeah, I think too, it is a too. great stage option. And it's a great out of shield option, too. Oh, the taunt. Okay, light saying, come on, bro, keep up. Nairo baiting the landing down and going for the side B a little bit too slow. That one outside the range. Light, he could have gotten a grab right there to take the revenge away. That's all he needs is one throw. Right, it just turns it off. Up B out of shield. Yes, the super armor just in case they manage to stick out a fast button. Nairo fighting for his tournament life, 67% down. Off the level against Fox, that's punishable. And that's it. Wow. That is guaranteed. Oh, no, it's what? not! I lied! All right, Nairo has control of the neutral, misses the bear, has another opportunity, and he's going to go. get it. Not dead yet. Of course, cross stage. Things take quite a while to kill in this game, but what does Nairo have for the lead trap? Nothing. Light looking for it. He's going to take one. 112% for Nairo, trying to force a game five. Massive up smash there from Nairo, but still 120 down. He's dead to the next up smash. Light. It's a revenge, but no revenge in time. Nairo will fall to second place, and it will be Light. Taking the tournament in first place. Wow, so from the depths of a fifth seed, this man made it all the way through. I mean, and that's, that's a hard seat. Four or five is a very, very it hard is. seat. Because you have yeah, to go sorry, against four or five, and then you have to go against one. He defeats Tweak and then Nairo two times. It's impressive. Nairo took two games off of Light, but to my knowledge, I don't think Light lost anything else. He may not have dropped any other games on the way. He did 3-0 Tweak. Yeah. Wow, what a run, guys. And I, again, no one was quite expecting this. We've seen New England locals. We know this guy is still the king of his region, or one of them, right? Right up there with Mars and Kool-Aid, who have also been on a tear in this game. Kool-Aid's not entering nothing. No, you just won a tournament with Pit, bro. You might want to check yourself. Probably like eight people. Times 10 pools. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Of course, I'm, people have been I'm coming not, out I, I'm not hyping Kool-Aid up until he actually goes to things. Well, uh, if anyone from the Boston area can bring him to Let's Make Moves, I know he's looking for a carpool, so please. Did he register? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't show you, up unannounced. 